Welcome guys. In this video, I will give you some tips and tricks to survive better in bootcamp. But first, you should know the names of the buildings in bootcamp to give calls to your teammates. You can always come up with your own names, but here are the names that I created. So I divided the bootcamp into half. To make it easy for you let's call them left and right. Here are the names and I also linked this screenshot in the description, so you can share this with your teammates. The big building in the middle is called the main building. And it has really good loot, and also more than one squad will land in this building. So let's start some tips and tricks with this building. If you ever think of landing in the main building make sure you land on the roof. And always try to spot the guns right before landing. And once you get a weapon. See if anyone landed near you. So you kill them immediately and then jump down. Anyway, if you ever land on the main building with your squad here. And your enemy squad over there. And you are holding the side of the building and your enemies holding another side of the building. Most of the squads will end up in this situation. So there are many ways you can push another side of the building. But here are the few effective ways you can push. Direct rush with your squad. I wouldn't recommend doing this because of its 50-50 chance of you winning the fight. But if you have more manpower then chances of you winning is more. You can secretly flank like this while your squad is fighting with them. You need to be extra careful while flanking. Because there might be another squad camping on the ground floor. And you can surprise your enemies from here. They would be busy fighting with your squad, and the gunshots make it harder for your enemies to hear your footsteps. So you can knock them and ask your squad to rush. Here is another flank you can do to surprise attack your enemies. But this one is a lot riskier as you expose yourself in almost every direction. You can knock from the window and then push. Here is another one. Flanking from the rooftop. While you are on the roof you expose yourself in every direction. So pay attention while you are running on the rooftop. And you jump down from here and kill your enemy. This one is a less risky way to flank. But check the warehouses before you flank. Make sure your teammates are shooting continuously. So enemies won't notice you. Now you can kill the whole squad from here. Whenever you're flanking ask your teammates to keep the enemies busy. So you can successfully flank. If your enemy is camping here, then all you have to do is come here and then jump from this window. Try not to make too much sound. And go near this window and kill your enemy. Or you can even go on the roof and jump near this window and surprise attack your enemy. If your enemies are camping in this room, then you can go on the roof and jump down near the window and kill your enemies. Or you can even jump from here. If your enemies are camping in this room. Then you can go on the roof and jump down near the window and kill your enemies. Or you can even jump like this. This trick works in almost every room that has a window in it. Use your creativity and try to make your own tricks so you can always remember them. Most people might be thinking about what is the best place to camp in the main building. There are four rooms without any windows they are really good for camping. If you ever think about camping always stay on the edges. And if you have a teammate then you can do perfect camping. If any enemy enters he can only able to kill one player at a time, so always camp like this opposite sides to each other. Always stay on edges close to the doorway. So your enemy cannot spot you. If your enemy is watching this video say hi to them in comments. Because if you think anyone is camping inside these rooms. You can throw grenades or molotov to get them out from the room or kill them in the room. By the way, this is my favorite place to camp. I can able to see enemies coming from the first floor and round floor. Which makes this place best for camping.
If you see anyone camping here, then you can jump out from this window and go to this position and kill the camper. And if you hear footsteps near these stairs, or if you think your enemy is camping below you, you can simply go near this window and jump out and shoot from here. And you can do exactly the same thing if you think someone is camping above you, or if you are afraid to go from stairs. And the last trick for the main building. If you think someone is camping here in this room and waiting for you to come from the door, then you can jump on this window and surprise attack them. Triple Story Building has medium loot and best for only two players. If you hear full squad pushing in this building, then you can stay here and kill them from here. Or you can simply go to the top and hide here. Here is a special trick if your enemies are camping in triple story house. Suppose your enemy is camping here. You can go to the top of the house and jump from here on the door. And see if you could spot anyone. And then jump into the window and kill your enemies. This trick works even without the help of the door. But while you are falling down you need to hit jump continuously to active ledge grab. You can even jump from here to kill the campers behind the door. This trick works in all the triple story buildings. If you ever had to camp in these triple story, then always remember this camping here in this place is high risk. Because enemies can come from stairs. And also from the door and maybe from this door as well. So it's risky because of three possible ways of your enemy attacking you and it's hard to focus. So it's better to camp here because there are only two possible ways that the enemy can attack you. One from the door and another one is another door. So it's less risky compared to the other room. And if you want to camp on the ground floor of the same building, then let me show you the best place to camp. From here there are three possible ways of enemy spotting you so that's a no. From here there are two possible ways of enemy spotting you, and it's less risky anyway. From here there are four possible ways of enemy spotting you. And it's too risky, so don't camp here. From here there are three possible ways of enemy spotting you and it's too risky. But if you open this door inside the house then you can hide behind the door. And there is only two possible way and a lot safer compared to any other place in this room. And now some tips about the double story house. It has average loot. Not good for camping. Anyway, if you want to camp you should be camping like these guys. Each player in each position. But you can kill them from these windows if you can find a perfect angle. From here you can get another angle to kill your enemy. The only place you can't get angle is this spot, so this spot is best to hold in this house. But you gotta be careful from the main building. As they can able to see and also shoot you here is an example. So it's always better to throw a grenade on the first floor. By the way, you can climb on top of this house from this door. For some extra loot. Warehouses have good loot, but it's really hard if your enemy landed with you. The warehouse has three sides open and one side with a door which makes really hard to hold in warehouse. Anyway, if you see or heard footsteps of your enemy camping in another side of the warehouse, you can do flank and kill him from this door. Or you can even reach here and kill him. This is the triple warehouse. As I don't land often here, I have no experience here. But these three warehouses can able to give good loot for a full squad. Here are some best spots to throw grenades, molotovs, and smokes. Here I am using free looker I think. 
So I able to see where I am throwing. You can use smoke grenades to block your enemy's view while you are trying to rush. Always follow this strategy. Knock and push. Once you knock down your enemy it's perfect to rush on them. As they will be in a panic situation. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. And I hope you learned something new. If you did hit the like button and subscribe for more. See you guys in the next video.